In this video, we'll model this inflatable pool. I've modeled it once already, and this is what I got. And so we'll recreate that here in the process, going over multiple tools and techniques. So let's open a new file. We don't need the scale figure. And let's draw a rectangle. With the two-point arc, make this side curved and this side curved. Erase what we don't need. There's some overlap here. I'll erase. And now let's draw a line in the center, vertically and horizontally. We'll need this when we do flip along axis. Now, actually, I don't need this line either. I'm going to select this, hold the Shift key down, and add this and this to the selection. And then with Move and the Control key, copy this. Then right-click, flip along, red direction and move this back. I don't need this and I'm going to erase these lines too as I don't need them. Then I'll select these lines, click on Move and Control to copy, right click, flip along, green axis, and move this into place. Then I'll erase all these lines. If I slide the eraser around, holding the left mouse key down, it erases continuously. Next, I'll select everything, click on Offset, and offset it. Now I want to make the edge. Click on the circle, hold down the left arrow key, and that puts the circle in the green direction. Click, click, then select the perimeter, click on follow me, and select the circle. And there is the main form of the pool. I'm going to group this to make it easier to work with. And then I'm going to copy it twice with Control Move. It's a little narrower than the example. Now I have the bottom of the pool, but I've got the bottoms of these parts that I don't want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the outliner and this lets me click on groups individually and if I double click it opens those groups for me. Open it and then delete that face. 
then we need to open this one and delete that face. Now we're just left with one face, which is the bottom of the pool. And what I want to do now is select it, and with Move and Control, copy it so that it will be the face of the water. It's a bit hard to maintain going up and down the blue axis. So if I hold down the upper arrow key, that will lock this into place. And I know that I'm moving it along the blue axis. So I have the lower part of the pool. And now I have the upper part, the water. Click on Materials, Water, and click the water onto it. If I go into Components and click on the house, that shows me all the components that are in the model. And remember, I deleted the scale figure at first, so I can bring it back in. And we can see that this pool is huge. So I want to scale this smaller. I'll select it and then click on the tape measure. Press and release the control button to put the tape measure in scale mode. Click two opposite ends of the pool. Type 10 feet. Enter. Enter again and it is just resized. And I can bring in more scale figures if I want. Under Components, click the arrow, Components, Component Sampler, and drag this scale figure in. And there you have it.